So when you draw closer to the world of AI, there is a lot that is being said about AI in the recent times. And of course, YouTube has come to terms with the technology AI. Now, everything has changed. You see, the way in which we understood AI technology has changed and the way it would operate in the content industry space has changed, right? We have come to terms with the fact that AI can do things that most of us could not do at first. Like AI can take text and change to video, AI can take text to speech, and even with just a prompt, you can get the whole video on its own. Right now, there is an issue with using AI in creating your videos. Probably you're watching on this video because you're using AI to create your videos, or you've probably been demonetized because you have been using AI to create your videos. You see, there are three things that can get you into problems when you're using AI to create your videos. And I'll explain these three things in a minute. Well, first of all, let's understand something here. AI is not a bad thing for content creators. It's meant to actually help content creators produce video faster and, and even make it cheap for content creators to produce videos. But it raises a big problem, right? Now, let's start with problem number one. There is the aspect of repetitive content. Now, if you haven't gone through this or if you've probably gone through this, let me explain to you what repetitive content means. Repetitive content means that you're producing videos that a viewer cannot significantly find a difference between each video. What do I mean by this? Now, there are also things associated to repetitive contents, which include copying from websites and converting it into text or speech, copying from websites and converting it into videos. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say I head over to a celebrity blog and I just copy a website the text on the website, I input it into a text-to-speech software and then I generate a text and I use to create a video, that is problematic because Google monetizes the content on those sites and Google also monetizes the content on YouTube, right? Now, that becomes repetitive because it already exists on their database and you doing the same thing over and over makes it very repetitive. So when it comes to AI, there is just a certain pattern in which most people fail to understand. Now, imagine the whole world using the same text-to-speech software on YouTube videos. Because what is going to happen is that most of the free AI tools out there like Watson Text-to-Speech and some other AI tools will be actually accessible by a lot of people. And imagine a lot of people using the same text-to-speech software, the same AI tools and creating their videos. Now, it becomes repetitive, it becomes redundancy. And trust me, YouTube wouldn't like that. And if you are even the owner of this precious company, you won't actually like that as well. So bear in mind that that is repetitive content. And of course, this is one of the issues that AI can actually lead you into. Now, the second problem you can fall into while using AI to create your videos is called reuse content. It's very simple. Reuse content means you're using something that already exists in the platform. And that is one thing you don't want to fall into. It's somehow a form of copyright, but I don't want to use copyright because sometimes you guys might add value to the content and YouTube might consider it repetitive. To understand this better, I'm just going to link it up to the repetitive content because they are kind of familiar when it comes to AI. Now, imagine using a certain text from a website and using it again on Google on YouTube. It's reused, right? But in just a different format. So you get the point. Reuse content, repetitive content, kind of similar, but repetitive content is more detailed. Reuse content could actually come as a result of you using some free AI generated music. Now, they say it's free, but it's it really free. Now, if everyone is using that same free AI generated music over and over, then it becomes like reuse content and YouTube wouldn't like that. So that is the second possibility of you using AI to actually create your videos. Now, the third possibility is going to blow off your mind because this is absolutely the worst of all of them and I don't want you to actually get into it. You see, now, when it comes to AI, there is a lot that is being involved with AI. There is a lot when it comes to confidentiality and when it comes to the value of information. As well, we know YouTube has community guidelines and one of those community guidelines is to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for viewers. When I mean a safe place for viewers, I'm talking about those who actually use AI for misinformation. Now, you've probably seen this post somewhere. You've probably seen this post somewhere. And probably you know that is AI. But sometimes it might trick you to actually think that it's real. Now, 
I'm just going to tell you that you shouldn't actually use it for the wrong purpose because somehow I tried it and YouTube told me this. My channel was deleted because of misinformation, because of spamming. And somehow I didn't really understand that policy until I went detail, in details to actually understand what misinformation meant. Now, let me just put it into some context here. I generated an image from AI and I used part of that image as a thumbnail in one of my videos and YouTube took it down. And unfortunately for me, I used that same image in many videos and YouTube gave me three strikes without me realizing that, oh, this was misinformation. Now, AI can go a long way. I'm just using an instance of this. There is a lot of things that is happening, like fake voices, fake realities, like deep fakes, putting someone face in another thing. You have probably seen most of those videos and I don't want to stress here again. Now, using AI could lead you into this problem and I believe you guys already know this by now. Misinformation, absolutely wrong. Now, you're finally getting my answer. The three things that you can fall into when using AI to create your videos. The first one is repetitive content. The second one is reused content. And of course, the third one is violations of YouTube policy or let me put it in quotes, misinformation. But you got the answer. AI videos are completely monetizable. You want to make sure that you go against everything I've said before. You don't repeat content, you don't reuse content, and you don't use AI for the wrong purpose. If you actually do that, then you should be safe on YouTube. To make it very clear to you and to tell you that AI is actually very monetizable on YouTube, I got monetized on, in 30 days using AI to create my videos. And you can click on the video here to learn more about it. I'll see you next.